Steve is going to retire on 84000 a year tax-free income. <sighs> yes, he can. Now I got my thing. Don't forget to follow me on Locals. You can see the, the link in the goobly-doop. And my email list. Don't forget to sign up for my email list. The link is on the doobly-doop. I got a uh, thing I got to put on my, to remind me to remind you to click subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Stay to the whole video and you'll get a big surprise. <laughs> anyway, so this is my man Steve. And I said, hey, can I uh, do a video on this? He goes, I'd be honored. All right. Um, so Steve writes in, Josh, I saw your recent video and I just want to shout out a big thank you. I found your channel not long after you started. It made me, complete, uh, made me completely rethink Social Security and retirement planning. I'm 66, and my better half is 61. We both retired at the end of last year, so that'd be the end of 2022. We are on track to pay virtually zero taxes with over 80000 a year of year in income in four years, once they're on Social Security. Right now, we're living off cash reserves, part-time work, strategic IRA distributions, and my wife is on of ACA. We'll begin in Social Security in four years, in which we'll have 64000 in combined Social Security. And Steve has a small pension of 8000 a year with no COA. So between those two, they're going to have 72000 a year. Uh, we have a dividend long-term capital gain brokerage account that we expect to give us about $12,000 a year. Uh, so our combined income will be 84000 a year. This is about what our combined gross income was working two full-time jobs. Ten years ago, I was worried about our ability to retire, especially when I saw the estimates that the, that the experts put forth. Your videos came at just the right time. It gave me hope and helped me come up with a plan. It will probably be years before we reach a million in our retirement accounts and our non-retirement accounts, but that's okay. Maximizing Social Security with other tax-efficient income will allow us to live a comfortable, tax-free uh, life with inflation adjustment. Understanding Social Security and how taxes works is a superpower. Yeah, 100%. All of these concepts I learned from your channel and then did a deeper dive in my own. All right, so what I want to go into, so I, I jumped on Right Capital. I got Ann and Steve Sample. I don't know what Steve's wife's name is, so we'll just call her Ann. Um, then there a band, then there an Ann from, uh, one sec, I gotta think about the name of the band. Faith No More, introduce yourself. Ann Song. That was before they became uh, popular, um, but that was good. That was actually a pretty good song. That uh, pretty good album there. And I, I look, I know Quan with Faith No More becoming popular, but I remember Ann. Uh, how's that song? Good, you got the lyrics on here. Yeah, that's a good, actually, a pretty good song. All right, anyway, so let's go do Ann um, and Steve. All right, so what we're gonna say, we're gonna go to profile and we're gonna say Ann was 61, I think, right? Yeah, 61, and she's first, and Steve was 66. That's right. All right, so then I just kind of messed around and put some social security. Ann's got her uh, PIA is twenty three hundred bucks a month. She'll take at sixty five because Steve said they'll take it in four years. Um, this other stuff is not applicable to them. I just have it zeroed out. Steve's social security he'll take at seventy. His PIA is twenty four hundred bucks. All right, and then they have twelve thousand in long term capital gains and dividends taxed at long term capital gains. Could be qualified dividends, but it's just the same thing. And we're going to increase those by 2% a year. All right. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. What else? And then um, that's it. So that's all we need for it. Because all I'm trying to do is show you the income. And we're not going to, nothing else matters. In this case, what about healthcare? We're not talking expenses, amigos. We're talking about income and taxes. So we're going to hit retirement. What about healthcare, Josh? Oh, my goodness. And we're going to hit cash flows. And we're going to see. That they got twenty thousand year of income coming in right now, which is tw uh, eight thousand from the pension, twelve thousand from his long term capital gains and uh, qualified dividends, and then Social Security kicks in. They're gonna have about uh, sixty four thousand roughly in Social Security. I got a little bit less than that, but it doesn't matter. Sixty thousand in Social Security, eight thousand in pension, 
12,000 in long-term capital gains of qualified dividends, about 80 to 85,000. The next year it'd be 88. All right, this will be the first full year of social security right here. So uh, adjusted for inflation, right about what they said, $88,000. All right, everybody with me so far? Social security will be between Steve, because he's taking out 70, and Miss Ann, $65,000, $67,000 in five years. 23 to four to five, six, seven, five years. All right, they got a small pension that's not inflated, and they're going to have qualified dividends, long-term capital gains. All right, so we can, I mean, they have a brokerage account that they're going to sell down um, to, for the capital gains. It doesn't take much, man. I mean, it doesn't take much. So that's their income. Income flows right there. 88000 bucks a year, man. It does, we're not, I don't care about their expenses right now. Taxes, big fat goose egg. How could that possibly be? And we can put them living in California even if we want. Let's make them living in California. They're like, they live in California. They're going to get swamped in taxes. No, they're not. I, I, look, I don't like California, but the tax man isn't that big of a deal if you have a lot, under 100000 less. This is what I'm trying to say. If your income is less than 100000 bucks, no state hammers you that much. And the blue states don't get you. I mean, I'm telling you, it's the Midwest states that get you more than anything, dudes. Not the blue states. Now, if you got a lot more money than that, they get you. But, uh, but, I mean, who wants to live in a blue state anyway? Don't you want your AR? I know I do. I'll be damned if I give up my right to a semi-automatic rifle. Are you crazy? But it's black, Josh, and it looks mean. It looks like what a soldier would fire. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, the freaking, the bullet is literally like this big. It's that big. <laughs> <laughs> a buckshot is a lot more fierce than a 5.56 five, or a 223. All right, stop. You don't know what you're talking about. You squeeze the trigger, a bull comes out. You squeeze the trigger, a bull comes out. If the bullet is what you're scared of, a 5.5 five, a 223 is like that big. All right? But it's black and you know has a pistol grip and a flash suppressor. Oh my goodness! And some of them even have a folding buttstock. It's so friggin' stupid. It's so gun control is the idiots friggin' uh, thing. They're, people, they're just they're idiots and evil people who want gun control. I have a so let's say I, I you know what else I have by the way. Shh, don't tell anybody. I have an air rifle that looks like a. An a, a AR-15. Shh. It's an air rifle. It looks black. Has a, a folding. It doesn't have folding buttstock, but it has a pistol grip. But it's black, and you don't want to be racist against black guns, do you? Black guns matter. And what's the? But we should ban it because it looks so scary. So freaking stupid. Are you sick of these people? I am. I'm sick of these people, dudes. Ah, just like ignorance, man. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, what was I going to show you here? There go the tax form. All right, so let's look 1040. All right. And look, I get There's going to be, Steve, when I do this video, because he said I could do it, there are going to be people say, yeah, but blah, 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 must be nice. Look, there's always going to be naysayers. They're just jealous. There's always going to be jealous people. So just wipe away and move on, man. All right, so here's the Social Security in 2000, was we said five years from now. So 2027. Here's his Social Security, sixty-seven thousand bucks, of which only fifteen thousand is taxable. Here's his eight thousand dollar pension. Here's a twelve thousand dollar, about thirteen thousand capital gain. All right. So what do we do? We take all this. This is our total income, thirty-six thousand bucks. Our adjusted gross income is thirty-six thousand bucks. Our standard deduction is seventeen thousand. But what? 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 We have a personal exemption here now because the Trump tax bill went away. Our taxable income. Right there, line 15 is only $9,000. What? How could that possibly be? Because we have $36,000 is our AGI minus our standard deduction minus our personal exemption. $9,000 is our taxable income. How can we have no tax? Our taxable income is $9,000. Why do we not have any tax? Hmm, because we are in, well, I'll show you. Well, I don't know if it's going to show up to me. Let's see. We're in a 10% tax bracket, so why are we not paying any tax? We're in a 10% tax bracket. Why are we not paying 10% tax on our taxable income? Well, because this right here, this capital gain of twelve, thirteen thousand 
because we're still in the 10 to 12 percent tax bracket is wiped off as tax free which means this capital gain long-term capital gain to qualified dividend dwarf this taxable income which means this gets completely obliterated from our 1040 because we're in a 12 percent tax bracket i hope that makes sense man because capital gains, long-term capital gains and qualified dividends, as long as you're still in the 12% taxable income bracket, remember it's taxable income, all right? As long as you're still, I mean, it's AGI, is same thing, but AGI is pre-standard deduction personal exemptions. As long as you're still in the 12% um, the tax bracket, you don't pay tax on that $12,989. And that $12,899 is actually more than your taxable income, so you have no taxable income or no income that's taxed. And we just go to 10, I think it's Schedule D. Capital gain, Schedule D. There it is. And you'll see here, there's our long-term capital gain, long-term transaction, $12,989. Now, how much net long-term capital gain? to $12,989. That's what we bring forward. Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Combined lines fit. That's our twelve thousand nine eighty nine. All right. Our twenty eight percent gain is zero. Our un twelve fifty unrecaptured zero, and zero is a smaller of line sixteen of line sixteen or line. What is it? Uh, or line, smaller of line 16, or I'm not sure where the loss on, we don't have a loss, but we don't have any taxable capital gains. Isn't that crazy? So man, Steve and Ann are living on 84,000 tax free in retirement. You can do the same if you're smart. All right, love your thoughts. Don't forget to sign up for locals and email list. All right, see you guys.